Welcome to Adult Craft Night. I'm going to go over the items that are in your kit. So you should have these example photos of plants. You should have three different shades of green cardstock and some deep purple cardstock. You should also have some glue, although yours is going to be in a small container. Uh, and you should have three different colors of paint, a green, a yellow, and a really light pink. You should have three small pots. You should have a paintbrush. You should have a bag of rocks. A piece of foam. And you should have three sets of floral wire. So some things you may want to have handy before we get started. A pencil or pen. And some scissors. If you have a wire cutter, you may want to also use that just in case um, you want to change the length of the wire, but it's not absolutely necessary. The first plant I'm going to be working on is this snake plant here. You can see it's got tall, thin leaves. Um, it's got different shades of green here in the middle and also yellow along the edges. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is cut these out and then we'll paint them. So I don't have templates for these. They're fairly easy to draw. I'm going to show you how they are here. So it's kind of just like drawing a blade of grass. And for my sample plant, I had six of those. So I'm going to go ahead and do six along here. And I'm going to vary the height. You can do more leaves if you'd like. The pots are pretty small though, so I didn't want to do too many. Okay, one thing you want to keep in mind is that the leaves are going to be kind of a sandwich, so you're going to need two sides. So you don't want to make the leaves too big um, because we're going to have to make basically double the amount that you start off with. So I'm going to cut these out carefully. Okay, now I've got my six cut out. Now, I basically want duplicates of these. So I'm gonna flip this over and find space. And the easiest thing to do is probably to trace it instead of trying to cut around it, so. So I'm going to cut these out. I did have some extra space here, so if I wanted to do more leaves, I could. I'm just going to cut these out. And I want to make sure to put this with its other half. So the next thing we're going to do is start painting. So now we're going to start painting the leaves. So we're going to use dark green paint to make these little stripes and then after that we'll go around and add yellow to the edges. So when you're painting you want to make sure that you're painting the right side. So both sides will be painted the same way. So you don't want to just pull your pair apart and start painting because when you put the matching set back together, um, this half will end up being covered up. Um, the only way to avoid that is to have your leaves look completely symmetrical, but I know that mine are not. So if I ended up painting the wrong side here and then putting it together, this is how it's gonna look. So I need to make sure 
If I'm painting this side, I need to flip this one over. Not a huge deal if you don't do that. You'll just end up having to do more work. So I'm getting my dark green paint and the stripes have kind of fuzzy edges so I'm not just going to go straight across with the paint. And you don't have to take the green, dark green paint all the way to the edge because that's going to be painted with yellow. So I'm just keeping it in the middle. And just keeping it kind of fuzzy. Now I'm just going to do the same thing to the rest of these. So the next step is to take our yellow paint and just go around the edges. It's probably a little hard to see because this paper is yellow, but that's what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like finished, and I'm just going to do this to the rest of them. So the next thing we're going to do is start gluing our leaves together and attaching wire. So for the snake plant, we're going to use this set that has the shorter pieces on it. So I should have six. Okay, so the wire is going to get sandwiched in between the two halves. So I'm going to get my glue. And you can use a Q-tip uh, or something like that. I've got a sponge applicator here, so that's how I'm gonna apply my glue. And just make sure you cover the leaf pretty well. stick this here. So the wire is going to go into your pot. So you just want to make sure that the leaf, there's enough space that the leaf sticks up out of the pot. So this is a good spot for the wire. And now sandwich this. And because the wire is kind of thick, you want to make sure that you pinch the bottom so that the two edges here are touching. 
Otherwise, the halves may kind of pop open. And just press it together really well. Okay, so you have your first one, so I'm going to set that aside and work on the rest of these, and then we're going to add them to the pot. Alright, so now we've got all of our leaves done. Um, you can use floral foam for this as well. This is the foam that um, was housing these pots when we ordered them, so I figured I would just take it apart and reuse it. So we're just going to get a piece to stick in the bottom, so break it apart. So we have some foam in there, and now we just want to arrange our leaves a little bit more. Okay, so I'm adding my leaves. So this one's sticking up a little too much. So what I'm gonna do is fold the bottom. If you have wire cutters, you can also use those, but if not, just fold it. And stick it back in. I think this one's sticking up a little far as well. So I'm gonna bend that and put it back. Couple more. Okay, so now I've got all my leaves in here. Now we're going to cover that foam with our pebbles and just use it to fill in space. It also helps keep the leaves from moving around too much. And this stuff is pretty lightweight, but it should still help keep the pot from tipping over. So now I'm just covering up anywhere that I see foam. Okay, so this one is done. The next plant we're going to be working on is this pinstripe prayer plant. So prayer plants are usually green on top and then have purple on the underside. So we've got the darker green shade as well as this deep purple. Now we are going to need this purple for the next plant. So I am going to cut it in half so that I don't accidentally use all of it. And because we're not painting this side, we don't have to worry about which side is facing the front. Um, but I am going to sandwich these two together while I do the leaves. So. These leaves are thicker than the last ones. So we're going to do a more traditional leaf shape. And this is probably hard to see. Let's see. 
Okay. Uh, but you can see my pencil outline here. And I'll go ahead and use a marker. So just a, a plain leaf shape. Of course, this one's not gonna be painted all the way like the other one, so I don't want that marker to show up. So I'm just gonna flip it over. And I'm gonna do six leaves just like last time and I'm going to do them in different sizes. I'm going to flip this over and draw my leaves in this spaces here to save some paper. Oops, this one's hanging over the edge of the purple, so I'm gonna move this over here. Leaves drawn. I'm gonna cut this edge off. All right, and I'm going to cut the two layers at the same time just to save time. So this is green on the front and purple on the back. I'm going to cut all these pairs out. It's a little bit easier for me when I don't have to work around the extra paper. So I'm just going to trim these first. and cut these out. Okay, now we've got our leaves cut out. So we are going to use our brush to paint these light pink stripes on them, just on the green side. So I'm gonna grab my green leaves, make sure I keep them all in order so it's easier to match them up later. And if I've, I see some pencil marks along the edges, so I'm going to get rid of those. Okay. Now I've got my brush. And the stripes are usually in pairs coming out from the center. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to start on the bottom. This is optional, but if you want to put a stripe down the center, you can use the dark green that we had earlier. So it just looks like the center vein on the leaf, and it's just a little bit darker than this paper, so it's not 
super obvious unless you look close up. So this is what it looks like when it's finished. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the rest of the green leaves. We'll be doing the same thing that we did with the snake plant. So we're gonna grab our set of wires and for this one, you're gonna want the one that is uh, medium in length. So we'll save this one for our last plant. So we're just going to add glue to these and sandwich the wire in between. I've already got some foam in there. See, I think this wire's a bit long, but I can bend it later on. So just sandwich it. Okay. And for this one, it doesn't matter um, how far the wire is sticking up. For this, we wanted the leaves to line up with the base of, or the edge of the pot. But for this one, um, the wire will be sticking up a little bit. So, pop this in there. And then I'm going to finish adding the wire to these and then we'll arrange the rest of the leaves in here. Okay, so now we've got them all done, so I'm going to start arranging them in here. Okay, so you can see they're standing at different lengths and um, you can also bend the wire so that they're going in different directions if you'd like. These plants kind of curl, so I'm gonna bend that a little bit. And now we're gonna add our pebbles. Just covering up the foam. Okay, so this one is done. So our last plant that we're gonna be making is this rattlesnake plant. So just like the last one, it's green on the front and purple in the back. So I'm gonna use the same techniques. Got my green paper and my purple paper. I'm gonna make these the same size. Okay, so for this one,
it's a bit of a longer leaf shape than this one. So it's kind of a cross between the snake plant that we did and this one. So it's a longer, it's also a bit wider down here than the snake plant, so. And again, I'm gonna do a few different sizes. So for this one, same thing, I'm just going to cut all these out. And I've got some space here. Do some more leaves. I've got one more. Okay, so we've got our pears. Now the design on this um, is spots going up and down each side, but you'll notice that it alternates, so you'll have a big spot and a little one and a big spot and a little one. Uh, and then the edges are dark green. So we're going to be using our dark green paint again. Grab some more paint. Okay. All right. So we just want to make sure we've got both halves matched up, and then if you need to do any erasing, um, go ahead and do that. We are going to be adding dark green paint to the outside edge, so I'm not going to worry too much about the pencil marks there. But if you have straight pencil marks, you can clean those up. Okay, so we've got all of our pairs. The first thing we're going to do is... I'm just going to take my green. and run a line down the center. Right now I'm gonna work on the spot, so. Just alternate a smaller one and then a larger one. And do that all the way up. You don't want to get too close to the edge because we are going to add paint there. So you still want to be able to tell that these are spots and not cover them up. So this side is smaller, so I'm going to make this side a larger spot. And now I'm just going to take my green and go along the edge. So this one's done for now, and I'll set it aside and work on the rest of these.
So now we're going to be finishing these off the same way that we did with the last two plants. So we've got our wires, and for this one we've got the longer wires. And this one is going to be a little bit different. So you can see in the photo that this plant's leaves are kind of wavy. So what we're gonna do is run the wire all the way up the leaf so that we can bend it and make waves. So I'll add my glue. And is this the right one? Yes, okay. And then get my wire. And again, these are different lengths. Um, so I'm gonna grab one of the shorter ones and I want the wire to go almost all the way to the top and try and keep it in the center. Okay. So I'm gonna set this aside and finish the others. Okay, so now these are all assembled and I've waited for the glue to dry a little bit. So I'm going to be putting waves in these. So I'm just going to go back and forth until I get to the end of the plant and you can see it makes it a little more interesting. And this is why we ran the wire all the way up this one. Okay, so now we've got our leaves and we'll just arrange them in here. These leaves do tend to stick up out of the pot a little bit, so it doesn't matter if the wire is showing. You can even flip some of these around so that you can see the purple if you'd like. And again, bend the wires if you want. And then we're going to fill this in with our pebbles. So our third plant is done. Thank you for joining us for Adult Craft Night. I hope you enjoyed making these plants. If you did, please check out the book Handmade House Plants by Corey Beth Hogg for more advanced projects. This is available for checkout at the library. You can place a reserve for that online. Check out our July calendar for more programs. And remember that our summer reading challenge will be wrapping up on July 31st. You still have time to turn in a reading log online. Just go to pflugervilletx.gov slash summer reading for more information. Happy reading and happy crafting. I'll see you next time.